Hey folks, Caleb with Almond Landscape. So if you've watched any of our shop progress videos, you know um, that we're building a big facility. But I want to show you real quick where we're at. 15 by 40 bay with outdoor storage and then a side yard here. And then this is where we're moving to. This is going to be crazy. Check us out. That's the cool thing. Okay, so here we are, right? But I think most of you folks know. So the guys have, uh, our builders have uh, some soffit on, fascia boards. That nice uh, black trim across there looks pretty good. Um, yeah, it looks uh, looks all right. A little bit of a warble in it there. I could nitpick, I think. Um, I'd like to see that a lot straighter, but I don't know what's realistic. But we've got our porch here. And... Um, that's looking cool. Now we're going to have, I don't love having to do this, but because I really love this big open porch, but we're going to do a, this is going to be boxed in here and then it'll, so, so we'll have like a windbreak area, if you will. So this area contains all the either heat in summer or the cold in the winter. So as we walk into the office lobby area, we are not constantly contaminating the air with cold air or warm air, you know, inverse to whatever the conditions are. So that being said, but the building's looking good. It's coming along real nice. Uh, very happy here with how it's going. And the kids just have a blast going through all the debris. So here we go. Hey folks, happy, well, it's Friday in this video. Don't know where it's at when this hits you, but uh, we're here at the shop checking out progress. Um, then we gotta go back in the office and get things done to pay for this thing. The uh, fellas here and by the way, i've been saying they're, they're mennonite they're full-blown amish i have uh, i have made a mistake there so shout out amish mafia there so they've got metal on our porch which looks great and yeah i got windows in so we'll show you windows here in a minute man i really don't want to do that front thing here but we have to so this is going to be boxed in with the office i think like i said in another video here but it's gonna be boxed in so that we have a wind break or an air break or whatever they call that, I forget. So there will be a door here to come in from this way and a door right. on that side. And then there will be a set of doors that go actually. Right, in. and so now you come in the lobby. Where but really, you warm. where it's warm, <laughs> yeah. And you think about it like we've got that thing there. I love the openness of that porch, but we've got, we gotta block that wind before it comes in or heat before it comes in too. So, uh, Couple of big windows going in the offices there. We've got our high bays in and a borderline. I, I know I'm gonna regret not doing more of them. I know it, I know it, I know it. I know it, I know it, I know it. And we got our high bay windows in there and it's looking good. So lots of room in here. It's a big building, golly man. So very cool. That's shop update. I'm going to this weekend hopefully get a lot of this timber and junk cleaned out and cleaned up and get a lot of this place just cleaned up in general we got a guy coming to grind stumps of our tree clearing job here whenever conditions allow for him he does it on the side so we found someone to take our dirt yeah our <laughs> soil will be leaving here uh, in the next in a week or two which actually i got to send him an approval of that uh, i'm going to cut those into logs and then just start cleaning this up try to get this place cleaned up a little bit that's my goal for saturday coming here and uh, getting some stuff fence down around here and fence supposedly goes up on monday too which we need to get actually con that conduit's supposed to get delivered oh yeah um so yeah okay i'll be shocked if that shows up frankly but we'll uh we'll see so that's the setup looking good well folks it's a big day here those guys are getting steel up on the building up on the roof i want to show that to you here in a second it's cold here it is the end of March. It was, it was 18 degrees this morning and uh, beyond crazy. Here it is, the big reveal thus far. How cool is that? These guys started, uh, they had a sheet up when I got here at 8.15 this morning. They had the first one up already. And uh, <laughs> it's funny, like I said, it's crazy cold, but you can see that the drips of ice on it there, the icicles from the first one they got up to now. Not an ideal day for uh, for steel, but it is what it is. So, but Joe up here walking up those purlins on end up there. That's manly. 
We don't need the breeze to kick up. We can do without that. It's a cold place to be today. Now this Joe just about fell through the freaking roof. Hard working dude, hard working crew. Um, they get after it. It's cool. Uh, got Jeff down here. He's going to be putting in chain link fence for us, six foot high security fence all the way around. He's working his setup. Currently, it's interesting, this pile here has sloughed off that edge. Off our spoils here is sloughed off. We got our three high bay windows there. I wanted to do more high bays, but Brett cut me off and I think I'm gonna regret it, frankly. Should have put my foot down, you know? You know, I run things in my house, right? Run a washer, dryer, dishwasher. But the underside here, look at this, isn't that cool? I'm guessing at this rate, yeah, somebody's square here. Um, but I'm guessing they will have all the metal on this building today, which will be just wacky to see. It will be so cool. Um, just, just awesome. And I'm wearing a hard hat because I'm down here and I can't afford mostly because I can't afford to lose any more brain cells. So end of whatever day this is, and they have made some great progress today. Super cool to see. Roof on the barn. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Oh my. Hallelujah, God is good. All right, doesn't that look great? So cool. Drilling some post holes down here. We've got, uh, we're doing some of the, just cause the deal we cut with the fence contractor. We're augering holes, and uh, and then he's gonna set posts and all that. But we're uh, look at that black dirt through there. Isn't that beautiful stuff? We're definitely gonna salvage that. Um, but uh, they'll be setting in fence posts tomorrow in concrete. We'll be using the buggy to help them with that. We get just some auger action here. That's moving ahead, looking good. Frankly, hate fencing that in. I really don't want to. I like that open feel, but you're just asking for trouble and for theft and for all that. So, uh, corner of the property here and uh, looking pretty good. So, this dirt pile, we got a contractor coming in to take this out in, I don't know, a week or two or something. Uh, they're taking all this out, which is cool. Uh, it's going to be six foot of uh, chain link fence with, with uh, barbed wire on top. And uh, then it's going to cut across the, sh the face of the shop here. That, that is going to come roughly to about the back side of the office, that chain link fence, as of now. And we're going to do gates. I don't know. I don't, I don't even want fence across here. But I didn't want to cross front of the property either. Kind of a real dilemma here. But as of right now, that chain link is coming right to about where you see the safety fence begin again. So it's going to run across to about here. And uh, then we'll do gates all across there. And we're getting some staging of materials here. Um, just, just roughly for now. Well, we're going to put bins in the back. But um, we've got a, our first loader number nine clean, which is some beautiful stuff here. We use that all for our paver bedding, as you've seen in other paver videos. But it's free draining. Sets up well, nice stuff, really love it. Then I got some dirty 57 now, but um, that is going to, the stuff just locks in so good, especially when it's choked in with a little bit of that nine and eights in there, ooh baby. Um, but that's in there. Uh, so now we got some stockpiles the guys can come and pull from. Uh, like I said, the bins are gonna go in the back corner there. We're gonna be uh, doing a 20 foot concrete apron at some point coming out of here so that we have a uh, place to, park vehicles, wash them, uh, stuff like that. We're actually gonna bury a big tank in the ground here, uh, I believe, uh, from ADS. Uh, here's the big progress today that looks so cool. We got a roof on the west side of the building here, which looks fantastic. Uh, these guys got the windows framed in, which is so cool. So cool. And then I got my office window here. This is just beautiful. Oh, look at that white oak. I'm glad I didn't cut that down. That was so fortunate, but I got this beautiful white oak. My desk will be right here. 
that is gonna be cool and uh yeah that's cool man that one sits a little lower though but yeah that's gonna be cool so i'll have my bookcases beside it full of brilliant philosophy books and things like that and uh the the theme of my office is going to be working with scheme interior designs uh, our friends there uh my theme that i'm going for is going to be leather cigars uh, bourbon and um that was like my theme my palette theme for the office i want it to feel like a uh, uh a southern gentleman's office <laughs> so it's gonna be cool and then brett's is gonna be all whatever over here um but yeah so that's really cool so we're gonna come we're into the office now which is just man this is really shaping up the office uh and then we're gonna have this windbreak vestibule thing which i don't want to do that because i love how open his porch is this is so cool and by the way this is surreal walking through this building knowing it's it's ours like, this is just wild um uh, it's just wild um but there'll be a, like a windbreak air vacuum air lock kind of thing in here and that's going to be uh the kind of you know this kind of dampers some of the like on a windy day today because otherwise you just walk straight in here all that wind just blow, cold wind blows right in the office there where sorry that thing was right in my face i apologize um that blows right in here right so that's going to kind of dampen that i'm standing roughly right now in the uh podcast room the media room which is going to be super cool um conference room there again my office in the corner bathrooms and mechanicals uh kind of receptionist kind of type deal uh, up there's gonna be a loft so it'll be nine foot ceilings in the office and then a loft area up there which will be just crazy um and then the break room for the guys is gonna be here that goes into the, the into the building there be a man door there going to the outside kids room in there because the kids are going to spend probably a lot of time here so we want to have a neat room for them so that being said it's really wild man this is just so cool uh yeah and then we got our again chain link fence is going to go up the side and it's going to end about right uh where the heck right here ish chain link fence right there uh it'll be a gate across here whatever so with that being said how cool is this man and they they figure they had this on by 11 in the morning so they figure they're going to get this other side on by 11 i would presume about the same time frame tomorrow they, they didn't do it this afternoon because it got pretty breezy and that makes it pretty miserable and scary uh to try to handle 35 foot sheets of metal up on top there uh man that's a long ways up there that is wild so yeah very cool folks very cool we'll walk to the back here real quick can't wait to get all this bracing down just gonna make the place feel that much bigger really cool i sawed up a little bit of that junk here today so i was glad to get that done sorry for all the panning but uh yeah how cool is this lord this is amazing i keep saying that i apologize It'd be nice to get that soil out of here again it's kind of a windbreak right now i kind of miss that but okay so that's that uh today is fence day and a bunch of other stuff today so concrete's here getting uh fence contractors getting fence in here on the shop build looking pretty cool place is gorgeous it's <laughs> I don't think I can not look at it and smile every time I do. Uh, my office window there, gonna be beautiful going right, looking east here into that beautiful tree. Everybody's good, I think. <laughs> so, now I got a lot of metal up here on the east side, which looks great. Um, Here we go, first post set. Okay, so that's that. But uh, we've got our high bay windows in there. They look really nice. I know I'm gonna regret not doing more of them. I just know that's gonna be a regret. On the metal. But what do you think, Brett? A lot going on today. Yeah, really. So, looking good. It's exciting. I feel like it's all going to just like be done one burst, day like burst yeah. like pop done one day and it will this will all be done for you know it but
Hi folks, big time shop update today. Uh, not sure what the status of video, it is miserable cold here in Ohio. The April 1st right now, shell completion. That's the big surprise, right? So we go up on our spoils pile. We'll do this whole thing right here. Oh. And that is our shell. That is a completed shell of the building. So post girts, purlin, steel, trim, all that stuff. And um, guys got their box, header box on. It looks real nice. Um, I haven't actually seen it since they left. Not sure. What, not exactly sure what that's about. I guess I forgot to get that off there or whatever. Because those guys are paid and out of here. Now, I would presume that if I had called and asked them to remove that board, they would, which would be pretty silly of me. But this is, we decided to leave this porch open. We were going to do a vestibule, a bump out here, but we decided to uh, run it flat. Now, this will have doors here, but they just cut over this because they didn't know what size the doors are going to be, so they just covered over the front here. Uh, we're going to have some big, nice double glass doors, real cool. But we debated on doing that airlock out here to try to trap some of this cold air from going inside the office. But um, here is what the inside looks. Here we go. You ready? So, completed shell. I can't wait to get this trash out of here. I'm like beyond excited to get that crap out of here. Uh, I guess those guys left me something there. Um, but this is it. So we'll go back in the corner here. How cool is this? Just surreal. I still, I still have, I still have a hard time. Like really, it, I don't think it's fully sunk in. This is ours yet. I don't know. Cause it's just surreal, but we got uh, the place looking real cool. Can't wait to get, this is really just something. This will all be off this front 30 foot and then that back or mid the mid section will be all in landscape and then the back course hardscape academy and uh guys got all their excess materials because the deal was with the build is uh, and we didn't want to do it this way but uh we had a supplier supplied all the materials and then our builders built strictly off of everything we were supplying that can be a really challenging uh I wouldn't advise doing that, frankly. I know I don't do that as a contractor. I, I, I can't hardly think of the exception where I let the, con, the uh, client provide materials because we all can imagine if you've been in contracting for about 30, anything more than about 37 seconds, you'll realize why that's a disaster and potential disaster. So my number one goal with this whole thing was to make sure that that situation was absolutely fluid and that we that there was no issues ever with supply of material so it didn't hold up our builder i did not want to be that typical situation where things just turn out to be a freaking nightmare and uh i think overall everything ended up running and operating pretty smoothly so uh really really uh happy about that our number one goal so far as they know our builder left uh happy our gc left happy everybody's paid um there we go so that's just crazy <laughs> It's just crazy. There's so much room. It's just amazing. Um, golly, just awesome. Hallelujah. So we'll go out right now and we'll look. Um, uh, I got a fence contractor. He's getting fence up. So we'll walk around the backside here. I got to get gutters on. That's like one of the next things we got to do. ADS, Advanced Drainage Systems, is supplying us with um, a stormwater cistern. So we're going to be harvesting our own rainwater and uh and then washing trucks and doing whatever watering plants all that stuff with it so that's gonna be really cool and uh i got a ton of site work to do yet lots of cleanup i plan on being here tomorrow saturday pretty early and uh getting this rolling but we're getting our chain link fence up here this is looking good for chain link fence uh, just because i'd rather have like the five board black fence but we've got to do um unfortunately we've uh, got to do chain link with barbed wire for security purposes of course so that being said, um, yeah, how about that? This is looking cool. Fence looking good, Jeff. So yeah, man, this is wild. And the bad thing is don't have gutters on yet. We got some dirt here, so all that splash. I mean, just look how much material splashes up. Isn't that a shame? Ugh, that's terrible. So much mud splash. But uh, I know I regret not doing more windows. I know I regret that already, but otherwise, how awesome.
Very cool. There we go. Shop update at the moment. When you enter into deals like this, it is really important that things are very spelled out as to who does what, who gets what, and all that. So, one of the, for example, one of the things was with the builder, I said, we will provide all materials, nails, screws, trim, J-channel, flashing, all that stuff is provided by us. Something got missed in the whole thing was uh, I told them they were going to be, everything's going to sit on cookies. I misunderstood something and there had to be concrete poured instead for the post to sit on. So concrete had to be purchased outside of all the other materials. And I, and I told the builder that one's, that is on me. I, I screwed that up. I will be paying, I will be paying for concrete again because all materials are covered by us.